My name is Michael Barker. I'm the co-president of Sony Pictures Classics. What do you look for initially when you're trying to acquire a film, and what specifically interested you about this film? What drew you into it? Well, Sony Classics has always been very director-driven, and this film was a really easy one because Marco Bellocchio is one of the world's great filmmakers. And my partner, business partner, Tom Bernard, and myself, we actually released two of Marco Bellocchio's films before we were at Sony Classics, when we were running Orion Classics. One was called Henry IV with Marcello Mastriani, and another one, which was called Devil in the Flesh, was a very controversial film in the late 80s. Um, Marco Bellocchio, you know, in the 60s, Italian cinema really changed movies as we know it. There were the great filmmakers of the 60s that informed the world of the problems with society and also a new way of telling stories in movies. And so you had uh, 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 Antonioni made um, La Ventura, then uh, uh, Fellini made Eight and a Half, Visconti, Rocco and his brothers, Silva, uh, uh, Francesco Rosi, Silva, uh, uh, Giuliani, Salvatore Giuliani. And, and then a movie came along called Fist in His Pocket that was like a sledgehammer and Marco was 26 and it was a movie that attacked the institutions of family, the institution of the Catholic Church and the institution of society at large and um, he's been doing it ever since and film after film after film and that film really anticipated the kind of youthful unrest and political unrest that came in the late 60s in a way no other film did. And it's so great to be here, 2019. All of those other filmmakers I mentioned have passed away. And this gentleman who turned 80 last week has made what many think are his, is his greatest film. So it's an easy one to choose this. <laughs> certainly sounds like it. And finally, how do you think Italian cinema, in a sense, has influenced the mobster movies we've seen over here? Scorsese oh, yeah. and, and De Niro, you know, Godfather, we're looking at Scarface, all these movies. How do you think they influenced what we consider some of our greatest movies? Well, I think it comes from Italian history and Italian culture, but also the rhythm of the language and uh, the stories are so rich. And it's interesting you say those things because you can look at The Godfather and The Sopranos and The Irishman and we all love those films. Those films are as American as they are Italian and in, with this movie Marco has made the authentic Italian epic gangster movie uh, without Hollywood movie stars and in, in a purely Italian way. And it's a magnificent piece. And, and I think it's important to really embrace a filmmaker who has the skill and tenacity to make a film like this at his age. And I also think we need to embrace the lead actor, Pierre Francesco Favio, who gives a major, major performance.